out, drives that sponge to the breach, twists it to remove any fouling or embers, steps back out, flips it around so he's ready for the ammunition, at which point the order can be given to handle cartridge. The man with the haversack reaches into it, slices open a paper cartridge, hands it to the man with the ladle, sets that into the copper ladle so we're ready to charge with cartridge. He slides that paper cartridge to the breach, grabs some junk, grabs a shot out of the locker, sets that into the muzzle, so we are now instantly ready to ram cartridge. And that rammer drives all of that down to the breach. So the bombardier is ready to prime. The priming wire goes down in, opens up that pre slick cartridge, and the powder horn makes a continuous line of fine powder from the hole down to the bed. The whole time the aiming gunner carefully checking the lay of the gun, making sure nothing has changed that could alter it, while the gun commander, the officer in charge, when he's ready, he's going to give the order to fire. Now, when he does, the bombardier steps out away from the recoil of the wheels going backwards, and the man with the linstock will send that cannonball down the rail. We do this all together on the command to fire! Oh. And that shot goes down range. Now, while the crew would drill in this manner step by step, they knew in the seat of battle.